All right, what's up, guys? Daniel with Midnight Move Trash, and we're doing a long overdue pickup video. And these were from the last couple of months since uh, I have did one. And, you know, we're going to start off first with the wild, the, the obnoxious and totally fucking badass cocaine bear. I really like this one. This one was something else. Um, super fun film, you know, looking forward to, uh, what is it? A uh, crackhead raccoon and, uh, some cracked out shark or something of that nature. So yeah, with that, that being said, I'm looking forward to those. Next one is forgotten tales. And this one stars, a uh, a WWE, uh, st superstar Shotzi Blackheart. And it's a decent film. You know, real low budget indie film, but yeah, it was it was decent. I enjoyed it. The other one that came in for review, uh, for drop the spotlight was the unwelcome, and this one was one that I was looking forward to seeing, and it, it's out there. It, it was a it was a decent watch. It's a little film about the Red Caps who are like little. Irish leprechauns that kill and they have to basically pay tribute to it via blood to keep it to keep them a bay and yeah it's a pretty creepy movie and it it didn't disappoint yeah if you get a chance check that one out but then this was a Amazon pickup Midsummer Midsummer I don't know I'm butchering the name this is a really fucking wild film uh this new head horror or psychological horror whatnot it's growing on me i mean it, it's a decent one it had some it had its moments but you know i for five bucks yeah 4.99 3.99 something like that on amazon i had to get it and one that i have yet to watch is infinity pool i've heard good things about it Mia Goth, you know, from the X series. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and watching this one. The other one is a three pack of the Silent Night, Deadly Night collection. And I have seen all of these, but it's been really, really, really long time since I've sat and watched any of them. So. Yeah, I'm starting to get my Christmas lineup ready because, you know what, we're less than six months away. Um, another one that came in for review for Drop the Spotlight was Champions. And this was a this was a really good movie. I really like this one. You know, it's a, uh, it's a good story. Uh, Woody Harrelson uh, did an a excellent job as the coach. And, you know, all the, the special needs kids, you know, a lot of them, it was their first time acting. Amazing job. Great film. You know, it's uh, uh, Woody Harrison kills it in that one. I, I really liked it. Then another one that came in for a review, Young IP Man. You know, it, it was a, it was a good, it was a good, well, not a continuation, more of a prequel to the IP story, IP Man story, the Ip Man. You know, this is when he's young in school training and... He has to face one of his uh, old masters, and yeah, you know it's a uh, it, it was a decent watch. Uh, one that I have yet to watch also is Doll Murder Spree, and this is another one that has uh, Shotzi Blackheart in it. And you know, I picked these up because uh, I saw she's doing she did a horror convention out in Florida, which you know I'm hoping somebody will bring her here to Texas. Or we can get out to a uh, horror con out in Florida. You know, I would love to get those signed by her. You know, she's a amazing WWE superstar. And then one that I picked up at a... Where did I get this one? Thrift store? No, I got this at a... Yeah, thrift store. Homeroom. I have yet to see this one. It just looked interesting. So I said, why not? But yeah, those are... I'm assuming all the ones I picked up past, past couple of months, minus the 
few Dollar Tree ones that will be on its own video. But with that being said, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should pick up. Let me know what you guys have been picking up. Let me know what you guys are watching. Any suggestions as far as films, horror memorabilia, collectibles, junk food to try out. I do have a box of Peeps cereal that uh, was given to me courtesy of um, Stacy and Larry. You know, Stacy knows I'm not a big fan of Peeps, so she got me a box. And... I have yet to crack it open, which I'm going to do. And I also have some more Mountain Dew taste tests coming up for the Midnight Movie Trash Eats. And so, yeah, there's some, some stuff coming up. I'm back on the back on the content creation. And, you know, like I said, follow me on social media, on, on everything, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, TikTok, here. And with that being said, till next time. See ya.